As you can see, we have an offensive and defensive setup, and this offensive and defensive setup is compared to our what's known as our Cartesian coordinate systems in mathematics. If you just glance at this, we can really see the similarities. First of all, if we just run the ball across our offensive line, or we draw a line across the offensive line, you see we have a concept on the football field that's very similar to the concept of the x-axis in mathematics. Same thing if we run a line in the north-south direction. We have a concept that's very similar to the y-axis in mathematics. It's also interesting to note that if we look at the intersection of these lines where the football is, or the beginning of our play, or the origin of the play, where the intersection of our x-axis and y-axis occurs in mathematics, we also have the origin of our graph. And also similar to football, we have quadrants, or we would more likely call these zones in football, zone 1, 2, 3, and 4, and notice we're going counterclockwise, whereas in mathematics, we have a very similar concept, what we call them quadrants, quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. As we proceed through this lesson, you'll discover how concepts related to the offensive and defensive setup in football can be used to help you understand concepts related to the Cartesian coordinate system in mathematics, specifically plotting points, determining the slope of a line, as well as determining the equation for a line.